Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to Asma K9. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So let's start. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Python Integrated Development Environment or IDE for short, which is Jupyter Lab using any version of Python or latest version of Python in your Windows machine without using any third party tools like Anaconda. Anaconda currently supports Python 3.9 version only, but if you want to use the latest version or any other version of Python compiler, then you can follow my step. You can use these same steps to install Jupyter Lab on Windows Server machine as well. So the first step is to download Python compiler version of your choice. I have downloaded the latest version of Python compiler. Then you need to install Python compiler on your Windows machine. If you want to, you can also set the Windows environment property variable path during the installation of Python compiler. Now next step is to create Jupyter Lab environment directory structure. So create a Jupyter Lab folder in your root directory of C drive or drive of your choice. Whatever location path you choose to create for this Jupyter Lab directory structure, make sure there is no spaces in between your directory path locations. Now open Jupyter Lab directory and create three subdirectories as shown here on the screen. Number one is virtual environment directory which is used to create your Python virtual environment. Second is Jupyter which contains information about Jupyter Lab, kernel and runtime environment. And third is workspace directory which will contain your Python code files. To install Jupyter Lab environment on your Windows machine, open command prompt as administrator. In order to install Jupyter Lab IDE on your Windows machine, you need to exactly follow the set of commands that I'm about to show you. Know that each time you want to open Jupyter Lab IDE on your Windows machine, you need to run these set of commands again in, in the exact same order that I'm about to show you. So the first command as shown here on the screen is to change the directory path into workspace directory of the Jupyter Lab directory structure that you have just created. In the next command, you need to set Jupyter Lab environment property variables as shown here on the screen. First property variable is for configuring Jupyter Labs runtime environment directory structure, and second property variable is for configuring Jupyter Labs IDE related data directory structure. Now set Windows environment property path variable with Python compiler directory location paths such as Python installation root directory, Python script directory, Python library directory and Python include directory location paths as shown here on the screen. During Python installation these paths will set automatically for the version of Python that you have installed. But if you want to use different or multiple version of Python compilers then it is a good idea to set these paths here. Here, otherwise there will be version path conflict. After setting python paths, type the command as shown on the screen to check and verify the target version of your python compiler. Now create python virtual environment by executing the command as shown on the screen. After the execution of this command, you can go to your virtual environment directory and see that now this directory is not emptied and the relevant python virtual environment directories and files are now available under this directory structure. In the next step, activate the python virtual environment by executing the command as shown here on the screen. Execute the command as shown on the screen to upgrade the pip command. Now first install pywin pty library using the command as shown on the screen. Then install request library using the command as shown here on the screen. Then execute the command shown on the screen to install Jupyter library. Next install Jupyter lab using the command as shown here on the screen. Then install kernel user library using the command as shown here on the screen. Now to open the Jupyter Lab IDE in the web browser, call the Jupyter Lab command with no browser property along with your designated IP address and port number properties as shown here on the screen. Open the Jupyter folder that you have created. Now notice that Jupyter relevant runtime and kernel directories are being created in this path location. When your Jupyter Lab command executes successfully, then you will be able to see the URL of the Jupyter Lab IDE. So copy this URL into your web browser and now you will be able to see the Jupyter Lab IDE in action. 
Go ahead and create a new Jupyter notebook and write some Python code to verify if Jupyter Lab IDE is working properly or not. For example, type and execute the line of code as shown here on the screen to check the Python version. You will also notice that your code file is automatically created in the workspace directory that you have created. In the launcher window, click on Python kernel to open Python console window. Now type a command to check pip version in order to see if Python console is working properly or not. In the launcher window, click on the terminal icon to open Python terminal window. You might run into an unhandled error exception. If you look this exception details in the command prompt window, you will notice an error the command was not found or was not executable. This error occurs because on Windows 64-bit machine, PowerShell.exe file is available in two locations, one for 62-bit architecture and one for 32-bit architecture. So Jupyter Lab environment is unable to comprehend which powershell.exe file to use and result in unhandled error exception. To fix this issue, you need to set JupyterLab environment property variable shell after command 2 and before command 3 as shown here on the screen and execute all the set of commands starting from command 3. After executing all the commands again, open the terminal window now. You can see that now terminal window will open successfully. Type a command to check the Python version in order to verify verify the terminal window is properly working or not. You can also change Python terminal from powershell.exe to windows command prompt cmd.exe. To do this, change the JupyterLab shell environment property variable to cmd.exe file location path and re-execute all the commands again to restart the JupyterLab IDE. Then open the terminal window and you will see that the terminal window is now windows command prompt window. Instead of typing and executing these set of commands again and again to open JupyterLab IDE, I suggest you to create batch file and simply run batch file as administrator in order to open JupyterLab IDE. To install JupyterLab as Windows services, especially when you are working in Windows Server environment, you need to download an SSM tool. After downloading an SSM tool, extract the content of this tool and copy the 64-bit binary.exe file into your JupyterLab root directory. Now open command prompt as administrator and change the directory to path where you have copied the NSSM tool as shown here on the screen. Execute the command as shown on the screen to install install the JupyterLab batch file as Windows services. A window will open on application tab, provide the JupyterLab batch file path under application path, write your service name at the bottom, then on the details tab, provide your service details such as service name and description. On IO tab, provide location paths to for the output and error files, then click install service and your service is installed successfully. You can open Windows services and locate the Jupyter Lab Windows service that you have just installed and start this service which will now successfully run. The output log file will show you all the commands that need to be executed in order to open JupyterLab IDE. For JupyterLab Windows service, error log file will contain JupyterLab IDE browser URL. Open the error log file, you will notice an error instead as highlighted here on the screen. The reason for this error is that as service, JupyterLab is unable to recognize the Windows login authorization. To fix this error, go to the file paths.py location as shown here on the screen and then locate the method win32 restrict file to user and then replace or comment out the following line of code with the following line of code as shown here on the screen. Now restart the JupyterLab service and open the error log file. You will now able to see the JupyterLab IDE URL. Open the JupyterLab IDE and verify the notebook console window terminal and see if everything is working fine. To uninstall JupyterLab Windows service, open the command prompt as administrator and change the directory to path where you have copied the nssm.exe file. Execute the command as shown on the screen to uninstall the JupyterLab IDE as Windows service. Click on yes to remove the service and JupyterLab IDE Windows service will be removed successfully. Let's look Jupyter IDE in action. You can see that before installing the Jupyter Lab IDE, my directory structure is empty.
I have created Jupyter Lab batch file which will contain all the commands that need to be executed to install and open Jupyter Lab IDE. Now when I run the Jupyter Lab batch file as administrator I can see that now my directories are not emptied. Virtual environment directory will have relevant Python virtual environment and Jupyter Lab directory will have relevant runtime and kernel files and folders for Jupyter Lab IDE. When I copy the Jupyter Lab IDE URL in the web browser, my IDE will open successfully. I can create a python notebook for coding which will be created automatically in workspace folder. Console window and terminal window are also working properly. I can view different options of Jupyter Lab ID. I can write any Python code in the notebook. For example, I write code to install Pandas library which is successful. That's about it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care and Allah Hafiz.